Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different video today. Today I'm going to be going through some games that I would like to do for 2016. So I this there was a steam sale steam is currently what i'm on right now this is my steam profile and this is where you can see all my achievements my screenshots my little cards and all that sort of thing if you're familiar with, familiar with steam that will all make sense to you but if it doesn't then there are lots of tutorial videos and guides here on steam to help you get the gist of it but this is where most of my non-sims games come from so this is a contrast background i absolutely love this when you get when you go up a level um after you've created a badge every now and then well i think every time you get a background and this is the ones that i get and it's super pretty so i've got 11 friends on steam currently go ahead and add me my name is of course little miss simmer you can add me as a friend on steam and we can maybe play a few games together it'd be super cool um there are a few simming groups on here as well that you can join if you like leave me a little message my profile or something it'd be super super cool um i'm no freaking steam veteran i'm only at level 10 but i'm basically here to show you all of the games i got now we're already lping alice in madness returns i have recorded a few of the trailers for some of the games so you can get a gist of what they're gonna be like and i'll leave it up to you guys to pick um contrast is one of them i will show you the store page um this depends if my internet decides to load there we go do not play the trailer um this is one of the games that i've already played this game is so so underrated this game is beautiful the storyline is so gripping it literally tugs at your heartstrings it is amazing and i think it's the best game that i've played on steam so far i love it and i could probably play it a million times over and still be absolutely taken in by it i got the collector's edition so i got some of the original soundtracks it is an amazing amazing game and it is one that i would love to buy on disc if compulsion ever made another game i think they have one in the making called we happy few and there's only been sort of um what are they called like tester versions out that a few people have lp'd but the official game hasn't been released yet because i don't think they have the funds or anything um it says sex here but there isn't really any it's not it's set in the 1920s there isn't really any sex on it the mother is a bit promiscuous but that's all i'd really say i'd say it is about a 12 there is some bad language um it's the use of weapons and that sort of thing um i will go ahead and play the trailer now for you guys mommy is daddy ever coming back i don't know honey maybe someday when he's ready but don't you worry mommy always comes back i think sometimes she doesn't tell the truth <laughs> I want to come home, Jen. No, Johnny. Not again. You're a carousel of broken dreams. See? You meet a guy's wife, now he's got a whole new reason to make good. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein at the University of Berlin tells us that our universe yeah. may not be the only one. But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. What you don't know can hurt you. Get back. You would never lie to me, would you? So that is Contrast. My good old friend Sarah Pachtama let's play this game on her channel. So if you want to get a little bit of a glimpse of what this game is like before you put in your vote in the comments, you can go over to her channel and check it out. On to the next game, which will be... Um, I have so many on here now. Um, we'll do Dreamful Chapters. Again, another great game. I haven't actually, like, you know when you sort of, like, buy a game and you're sort of like, am I going to like this? Am I not going to like this? Every game that I brought so far I have loved, and this is one of the ones, literally, if I was to rank them, 
in a scale of one to ten this is a ten along with contrast this game is beautiful it's going to play a trailer again the graphics are stunning the artwork is beautiful the storyline is just oh i love story rich games as you can see like here like when you look through the steam sale this, these are like tags and you'll sort of have a set of tags that are based on what you have the most and what you have the most of so you'll notice when you start shopping on steam that you'll sort of start going for the same things because you know what you like and one of mine is always story rich it's always female protagonist and it's always indie and most of the time it's adventure as well um but this game is story rich it's amazing it's one of those life is strange consequence choice sort of games so but it tells you when something is the consequence of something of what you've what you've done in the game so it's like it will it will tell you something about someone and it'll be like this person does this because of a choice you made and you're like oh my god really and then it's 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 amazing so i'm gonna play the trailer now They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. So yes, that is Dreamful Chapters. That was that was Zoe's um, sort of storyline. There there are two parallel worlds, and there is another guy as well. For some reason, in the chapter for the first book or the first chapter, it it shows gameplay and it shows her bit, but it doesn't really show you his bit. But he is in chapter one, but um, basically he's from a world where there's like black magic and he's been imprisoned for doing wrong and you sort of have to escape and it's really cool um but if we play that i'll show you you'll, you you will see that anyway but i just thought that was the most you know the music and everything it really makes you want to see um so yeah that game is incredible i'd also like to mention that if you like all of these games you are happy to say i wouldn't mind to see any of these to be honest they're all amazing and i'd love to do every single one of these at some point but of course i can't do them all at once so it kind of if you'd like to see if you have a favourite that you'd prefer to see first, but you would like to see all of them let's played at some point, you can say that as well. Um, so we'll go back onto my library. Another amazing one that I've spent hours playing. I literally, I've got it, I got it 31st of December and I've played six hours already. Um, I've been literally addicted to Saints Row at the moment. Um, so that's been taking up so much of my time. But the cave. The cave is so much fun. I didn't think I would like this all that much. But it's so addicting. It's so much fun. It's an adventure, platformer, puzzle game. It's also very comical. 
the narration is absolutely hilarious you're basically in a cave and you sort of pick a character and they all have their own sort of stories and the narration guy like the the guy that speaks is the cave and he sort of has these quirky little inputs every now and then and it's really amusing um when you complete a puzzle it's really satisfying it's so much fun it's got very positive reviews um it's currently 9.99 and i got it for a few quid in the sale it's amazing and i would totally recommend it to you guys and i'm going to go ahead and show you the trailer now peggy 12 For hundreds, nay thousands, nay, nay tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. Yes, I'm a talking cave. I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. The adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. The scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind. The monk. He seeks a journey filled with peace and enlightenment. And murder. <laughs> Oops, sorry. A time traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. The knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. Okay, let's get it over with. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. So that is The Cave. As you can see, the narration is really funny. I absolutely love this game. It's awesome and I'm totally open to LPing it. So if you want to see The Cave, comment down below. Um, on to the next game, which is Broken Age. Now, I've seen quite a few people LP this and i wasn't all that fond of it but i'd never i'd never actually seen anyone complete the game most people have lp'd it up until a couple of parts and then got bored and just not even continued with it so and i can sort of see why because i can take it in stages before i get a bit bored of it because it's very point and click it's not all oh, it's not very action packed well it is but it's not like the other games that i've showed you so far it's more quaint and i'd say it's more for kids um kind of uh but yeah it's storyline kind of makes me want to go to the end it's 2d adventure point and click indie um there's a few voices in there that i recognized while i was playing and i thought i was crazy um if you if any of you guys watch the big bang theory one of the characters in there is played by voice acted by will wheaton and i thought i was crazy i was like i recognize that voice that why does that sound like will wheaton and um and then i was randomly like looking through the achievements and i got to a bit where it was saying some information and it was saying voice actors and it was like will wheaton and i was like oh my god I thought I was crazy um because I didn't think like people like that did like games for little indie games like this um but yeah and then another one is Jack Black and I didn't initially I didn't even recognize his voice from his character I didn't I didn't get anything like and then when I saw it and I was like oh my god the other people I don't know who they are um yeah Elijah Wood Masasa Moyo I don't know who those are Jack Black Jennifer Hale Will Wheaton and Pendleton Ward I don't know who those people are but Jack Black and Will Wheaton I know who they are um so yeah this game has pretty bad reviews mainly because people don't like the last 
it comes in sort of acts and i've done act one um it's currently in a bundle which is 75 percent off see there's there's always like sales even though it's not the big sale so if you want to grab something i'd say always grab it when it's on sale never buy anything full price off steam because it's so overpriced origin sales never match up to steam sales i'm telling you steam sales are the bomb.com and i'm addicted um but yeah so i'm going to show you guys the trailer i'm happy to lp this i haven't all of these games i haven't completed i've some of all of them i've played a little bit of but i haven't reached the end of them yet and obviously because i want like it to be my full reaction i won't play them all the way through and i'll just start again with the lp and then you'll see the and i'll see you know the bit that i haven't seen it's kind of what i did with alice i played it a little bit just to get the gist of what it's like and see if I liked it and then I chose which ones I wanted to LP. So I haven't played any of these games all the way to the end, I've just had a little bit of a taster of them to see what they're like, but yeah. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age, a young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honoured with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. Mug Chatter will destroy this village, including your family. What if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? You're a dangerous girl, Vela. Something tells me we don't even know yet how much. What is this place? Please tell us where our daughter is. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. We have to save them. Shay, where are you going? Shay! I found one of the crew. Are you? Me? From the future? On to the next game, which is The Wolf Among Us. I have heard great things about this game, and I have to say, it definitely lives up to it. I haven't played it to the end, so my ending, I, my ending, my reaction to the ending, not my ending to the reaction, will be my true, honest reaction. Apparently, it's really shocking and everything. No. It's really, like, shocking and everything. It's from the makers of the 2010... 2012 game of the year the walking dead which i haven't played um is based off the award-winning fables comic um as big b the wolf the big bad wolf you will discover a brutal bloody murder is just a taste of things to come in the game it's overwhelmingly positive and that's what i mean about all the yeah n no complaints where is season two um it looks amazing by Telltale Games Collection. I didn't realise they had so many games. Do not pay £133 for this. I'm telling you, in the sale, this would probably be about 20 quid. Like, literally, that is a rip-off. Never, ever buy things, like, full price on Steam. Just buy them when they're on sale. If you add things to your wish list, you'll get an email when it's on sale. Like, I got Contrast. It's how much was it about 20 quid i got it for one pound 75 the collector's edition because it was like 75 percent off and it wasn't like the big sale it was just randomly on sale like sometimes games will just randomly go on sale but twice a year steam have their big sales they have the summer one and the winter one which has just been and um, where everything's on sale and it's crazy prices it's amazing and it's just so good never ever buy anything full price on steam i'm telling you because you will regret it um but yeah, so this is a bit of a Life is Strange, it's point and click, but it's a lot different to Broken Age. It's way more entertaining. I don't know, I don't know if it's the graphics or the story or the characters, but they're all sort of like fairy tale characters. So you have the big bad wolves, you have Snow White, you have the three pigs, um, 
uh what's her face beauty and the beast you have all those kind of characters but they're like real people and they live in fable town and there's been a murder and he sort of works for the police and you're trying to figure out who murdered this girl who he meets and i don't know who it is but currently interrogating people but because of course, if I, you guys choose that you want this game, I will stop playing my own game and I will start the LP game and we will go through it together till the end and figure it out. I, I think it comes in chapters or books or something and I got them all in the sale. Like I put, I paid like £4 and I got all of the books all together. These videos will all be individual ones for each of the books. But I will simply go through... It's got some screenshots here. I will just play the book from the very beginning the very beginning book because that's the one that we'll be playing first it just follows on chronologically as you're playing it will just go along with you and i've heard nothing but good things about this so i'm looking forward to lping this if this is a game you would like to see so i will go ahead and show you guys the trailer now there hasn't been a murder in fable town in a long time do your job sheriff or we'll find someone who can I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. What kind of monster would do this? I just don't understand. This thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. Where are you when we ever fucking need you? What did you do with my wife? We need to do things the right way. Because our way of doing things is broken. So that was The Wolf Among Us. The trailer is incredible. It looks amazing. That is all for this video. Please, please, please let me know which games were your favourite. If you loved them all, you can comment that. If you have your favourite but you'd still like to see them all, comment that. Just let me know what are your thoughts. If there are any games that you saw in my library that I haven't said that I'll LP but you would like to see. I have Ori in the Blind Forest, which I'd like to LP but I kind of don't want to because the achievements are really complicated and I'd rather just play it for that for myself. But if you guys want to see it, then I'm happy to do that. Um, I have Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Underworld, I have Saints Row, Get Out of Hell, Saints Row 4, Saints Row the 3rd, and Saints Row 2. I have Murdered, Soul, Suspect, Life is Strange, I've already LP'd that. Kitty Powers Matchmaker, which I'm currently just playing for myself because every Simmer and their mother is LPing this and I just don't want to be a sheep um hatful boyfriend which is basically just right well basically my boyfriend was playing this and he thought it was so funny and he was it was like one pound in the sale and he was like you have to get this game it's absolutely hilarious he was laughing his head off it's basically some pigeon dating game and it is so stupid it's ridiculous it is it's not funny and it was like stupid but it was one pound 74 so i don't even care um five nights at freddy's which i'm absolutely terrified of and i've literally played about 18 minutes off because it literally scared me so much that i'll probably never play it ever again i have uh yeah dream four chapters which i've already said that i will do i have brothers of tales of two sons which i haven't i don't have not i have no idea what that's like i'm perfectly honest i haven't even tried it yet it looked good so i got it in the sale i got it for a few quid um but if you guys have played it and you'd like to see it then there's that and yeah so that's all my current games that i have on steam there is unraveled as well which i'll be lping when that comes out comes out february the 9th but that's on origin it's not on steam and i will be lping that game because i am in love with yanni and i want a yanni and he's so cute um but yeah so that's all for this video go ahead and friend me on steam um and let me know your thoughts on some other games of course i'll still be doing sims and everything but you know me i like to add 
just chuck a few extra things in there for the gamers in general and not just the simmers because i have people who come to my channel just for alice and i'd like to people more people to come to my channel for other games other than the sims so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye guys